By the time I'm done talking, six people will have died on the transplant waiting list. What if we could build them organs in the lab to save their lives? In 2007, a scientist named Yamanaka stunned the world of biomedical research when he proved that he could take any somatic cell, that means any cell in your body that's not a sperm or egg, and turn it into what he called an induced pluripotent stem cell, or IPSC, that he could then turn into any other cell in your body. This means I could take a piece of your hair, theoretically, turn it into an IPSC, and turn it into a liver cell. I could take one of your toenails, turn it into an IPSC, and turn it into a kidney cell. I could even take cells from your urine, turn them into an IPSC, and turn them into heart cells. Now, heart is a big deal because heart causes are the leading cause of death worldwide. And like we said, people are dying in droves on these transplant lists. And even if they can get a heart transplant, there's something called the immune response where the patient's body does not recognize the donor heart as their own because it has someone else's genes in it. It says, what is this? It rejects it. This can lead to lifelong complications or even death. Now, the cool thing about these IPSCs that Yamanaka discovered is that they would be used autologously, meaning they come from the same person they're used in. So even though we remixed the type of cell it is, it's still genetically that person's own cell. We could theoretically build them an organ out of this. They wouldn't even need a transplant. World is saved, right? We can all go home. Not quite. There is an issue, and that's what my research looks to address. So the type of cell in the heart that causes it to beat is called a cardiomyocyte. And it does this by passing electrical signals to each other. Then, through a complex biological process, this gives rise to the cells contracting, which gives rise to the heart beating, which pushes the blood through the body. The issue with the cardiomyocytes we get from these IPSCs is that they don't pass that electrical signal to each other well, so they don't beat well. So we can't build a functional heart out of those unless we trick them. And my idea is we can trick them into passing that electrical signal by placing them on a highly conductive surface that acts like a training wheel and shocking them with electrical stimulation. Just like how you would jump a car, they have the intrinsic ability to pass the electrical stimulation. We just need to give them a little bit of a jump start. This is also similar to if you think about in a hospital setting, defibrillating a heart to restart it. It has the ability to beat, it just needs a little push. And that is really what my research centers on. How do we get from these IPSCs to these cardiomyocytes is well known, but how we get from that to a functional tissue, to a functional organ, is a small step in research that could ultimately lead to a world where instead of people's mothers and fathers dying on transplant lists, they walk around with the heart that was made from their toenails. <laughs>